Last week, we got the report from the Northeast Transportation blog that Jimmy Haslam bought land out by the airport as a potential spot for the Browns to move. And our friend Mike Polk did a little story on it. So let's listen to Mike Polk, and then we'll talk about the potential of the Brook Park Browns. What's up? Right now, I might be standing where the 50-yard line could be at the new Browns Stadium. You can almost feel it, can't you? Of course, right now, it's just a big empty track of land here in Brook Park. But since the Haslam Sports Group just bought 176 acres here, it's a pretty safe bet they're not planning on using it to convert it into a big paintball course. But frankly, that would rule. Nope, what this tells us is that like a young Cleveland couple who just had their first child, the Browns are considering moving to the suburbs. Nothing is for certain, of course, but the math isn't hard. Brown Stadium, as it currently exists, is not great. It's old, it's cold, and it needs a major upgrade or total rebuild. The stadium lease expires in 2028, so something's gonna happen soon. All that's being negotiated now is precisely what will happen, where it will happen, and how much what happens is going to cost everybody. The Browns have been playing downtown since 1946, so if the team does move and the Brook Park Browns become a reality, that would obviously take some getting used to. But this is the way the league seems to be going. 12 of 32 NFL teams already play their home games in suburban municipalities. I've been to a few, and they're not really my cup of tea. Suburban stadiums feel sterile and disconnected from the personality of the city. But I'm also not so rigid that I couldn't suffer through having to watch my football team play in another building 10 minutes away from where I normally do, and without 60 knot Canadian ice winds attacking me from the lake. The good news for the Haslams is that either way, they win. If this move successfully provokes city officials to expedite the process of committing to a stadium plan with what the Haslam group considers to be adequate taxpayer support, the Browns stay downtown and Cleveland helps foot a hefty portion of the bill for the revamp. If the city boxed, then the Haslams can say, well, we gave them a chance, and then start constructing their own little football town in Brook Park, where, unlike in Cleveland, they will own all the property surrounding the stadium. In other words, much more autonomy and potential profit. To be clear, I don't begrudge the Haslam group's move, and I hope that it's a step towards establishing some clarity on this stadium issue very soon. And whether they stay downtown or move to Brook Park, I personally think the best PR move that the Haslam group could make would be to fund the entirety of the project themselves and not rely on taxpayers from one of the most impoverished major cities in America to subsidize their incredibly successful business. This is not me begrudging the success of the Haslams, and it's true. They've done a lot of good for Greater Cleveland. But it's important to remember that Greater Cleveland has treated them pretty nice too. The Haslams purchased the Browns back in 2012 for just over a billion dollars. According to Forbes, the franchise is now worth more than 4.6 billion. So they're not exactly hurting for capital. And while it is common practice for taxpayers to pay for sports stadiums, it's certainly not required. For example, LA's new SoFi Stadium is not only the most expensive NFL stadium ever built, but was also entirely privately funded. But I recognize that's just a pipe dream and that we're all probably gonna still end up on the hook paying for stadium escalators ourselves. But that's football in America, I guess. And I've repeatedly proven to be shameless in what I will endure in order to support this team, no matter what part of town they play in. This is unapologetic Brook Park Browns bro, Mike Polk, for 3 News. <laughs> Brook Park Browns bro. Uh, the thing that stands out to me most about Mike's report, which was terrific, by the way, because I thought he got right to the nuts and bolts of the issue. At the end of the day, if he's going to ask taxpayers to subsidize any of this, here's why it's a bad look. He turned $1 billion into $4.6 billion, and likely that number will be $6 billion before long. He did that on the backs of Browns fans. That's how he has added $5 billion, if that, if that valuation continues to rise, to his net worth. How does a man who just invested a couple hundred thousand in one of Cleveland's sports team's main competitors to buy <laughs> part of that, then ask, those same Cavs fans to write him tax checks when he's got a net worth of almost five of over five billion. It's not a good look. And the fact that LA was able to subsidize their entire stadium through private funds tells me if they did it in LA, they can do it in Cleveland. Even right. if Haslam has to pay for the bulk of it himself. You want a new stadium to add more worth to your team that the city won't own? It will be yours? Build it. I don't know how true this is, but I heard the Ford family or who owns the Detroit Lions, they, they funded the stadium building uh, themselves as well. Um, I told G this Saturday, and I can be totally off base. The fact that Jimmy went out there and purchased 176 acres of land told me that he was kind of tired of the back and forth 
He just want to get this done. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Do you think he did that for leverage for the city? I think he did. I, it for, do. I think he did it for leverage. Definitely. I th- I definitely think so. I think it's one of those. He didn't have so many different meetings with city council and the mayor and things like this. And he's like, man, you know what? This back and forth on what we gonna do. Let me just go ahead and spend my money, go get this land. And if I gotta do this myself, I'll do this myself. Either way, I just want a new stadium. I really don't give a damn about how it get done, who pay for it, how how you go about it. And that's it. where I think most fans. Yeah, are. just I just want a new stadium what with if a retractable roof. You have to pay roof. for it with tax money. I pay you for okay everything with else with tax money now. I mean, I'm a, I'm a working Ohio city cleaner. I pay for something, in some way, shape, or form with tax money. Right. But brand new stadium, retractable roof, natural grass. If you put it in Brook Park, you got a connected. I think there's four major highways that connect. You can build up around it, like whatever. Just do what you got to do. You know, he, I, 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 we, we look at it. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure just like Jeff Bezos and all the billionaires are not paying no taxes anyway. Uh, no. They're not paying taxes. They, they're, you know, you know, when you get to that level, you know, it's the trickle down theory. Okay, well, let's, you know, we're gonna give you tax breaks because you employ a lot of people, and, and usually people that wealth tax bracket don't pay much. Here's my problem. I and my thing is this. If if say for instance, you know what I'm saying, I oh, I loan you 50 bucks, right? But then you say, "Okay, I got you back. I loan you $50." But then the next week when you get paid, you got Jordans. Where you get them Jordans from? You can't get no Jordans before you pay me. He's like, "I got them for a good price." You just went and bought the Milwaukee Bucks. You can't buy the Milwaukee Bucks and then come to me and say, "I ain't got no money. You just bought 300 400 million dollars a going rate for that you could have said <laughs> if you really wanted to upgrade like yeah like listen you can't you know you, you can't do renovations to this house and then go get you a new mortgage at the same time the bank looking at you like mm, you either choose one or the other so my thing is yeah i want a new stadium too but the political nature of it is if it's uh if it's uh you know it's re-election time Sometimes them constituents don't be signing off on that. They say, where else could his money be going? Well, like, the other thing that Mike said in his piece is you're going to ask. The, here's the, this is the, going to be the, the, the truth of this. You're going to ask the most impoverished city in the country by some metrics to pay for a house for a billionaire so he can continue to add to his wealth. There is something that is rotten about that statement. And you got it. And by the way, I know you said, hey, my, I'm paying taxes anyway. They might as well. Wouldn't you rather? Could you imagine what a billion dollars would do for Cleveland City Schools? Ooh. With our police department, which is sagging in numbers. And as a result, our crime rates are through the roof and raising like never before. So at some point, Mayor Bibb's going to have to make a really hard decision. Everybody in Cleveland cares about the Browns. That's why Mike's right. In the end, it'll probably be struck. A deal between the, the Browns and, and, and the city of Cleveland. But it's just, it, it makes me feel really dirty to think that how could that other money, it's going to cost $2 billion if they build it. Mm-hmm. How much are they going to ask Cleveland taxpayers to pay for? What could that money do? Just like you said, you don't care how much Deshaun Watson makes. Right. You don't care about that. Well, we all should because that's that much money that we don't have for Operation Stockpile. It's hard, it's hard to operate and, and stockpile a lot of talent when one guy is going to make $65 million against cap next year. So you, you, fiscal responsibility is hugely important to the success of every business. It's also important to the success of any city. And our city does not need to be spending hundreds of millions of dollars so a billionaire who bought one of our competitors in another sport <laughs> can get tax-funded money for a state. And he ain't paying no, ta- ta- pay no taxes itself. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good setup if you can get it. Right, I love it too. 